What's going on everyone? My name is Mandeep. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are back at Elgin Park Estates. Elgin Park Estates is a subdivision of luxury homes in South Surrey. We toured the home directly in front of this one about two months ago. The video has more than 300,000 views. Make sure you guys go check out that video after watching this one. A huge thank you to the builder of this home and another one from Sunny Sangha of Century 21 Coastal Realty for letting us tour this amazing listing. This home features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. The home is 6,500 square feet and the home sits on a massive 14,000 square foot lot. The architect of the home is Dag Design and the interior designer is Design Living Interiors. Before we tour the inside of the home, I just wanna say we are a fairly new channel and we are overwhelmed with the amazing amount of support we've gotten. Thank you to all of you guys for the views and the feedback. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We've got some amazing tours coming up. Let's go check out this amazing house. So the front of the house is cladded with this metal cladding. We got natural stone right here. I'm walking on these hand laid pavers. I like how the builder has created this tiered landscaping right here with the Allen blocks. And then over here, we got a glass railing on the sides over here. And then we also have the lights in the steps. Black windows, of course. And then the roof is a presidential series roof, which is very expensive and it's made to look like it's actually wood, but it's not. So over here, we got a massive door for your front entrance and right beside the door, we got a nice big window. So let's go check out the inside of this house. Welcome to the inside of this beautiful home. There are so many details and features in this house to cover today and I hope we can cover it all. I know that the builder spent a ton of money on this house and I'm so excited to show you guys this home. So follow me down this way. On my left, we have the home office, which is separated by this gigantic barn door. And this is not a light door, this is very heavy and it's solid wood, just like all the doors in this entire house. All right, so how many times do we see a home office have its very own fireplace? Not often. So this is a gas fireplace and I love the choice of the tiles right here. At the front of the house over here, we got the German engineered Inotech windows which just pop open just like this and allow a ton of light to come into this area. So no home office is complete without these built-ins which they have right here. And you got some open drawers, sorry, you, you got some open shelves. You got the drawers which are right down here. Zach, let's get a close up. You just put your hand right in here and slow stopping of course. I like that because there's no handles present. It makes it look very sleek and modern. And then the material right here is Chinooki. It's imported from Belgium and this is a natural wood veneer. So follow me down this way and we're gonna go check out the powder room, which is to my left. And as soon as you walk into this area, you're gonna notice something that the lights turn on automatically. So it's a motion sensor. Um, as soon as you step in here, all it lights up on its own. We got a copper sink right here, the black faucet, and I like the choice of the textured tiles on the back. The mirror is pulled away from those tiles and then you have the LED right behind it. And then on this side, we have the wallpaper. I love the choice of the wallpaper right there. And once again, every door in this house is solid wood. And then on the ceiling, we actually have a drop ceiling, which is rare to see in a powder room, but I think it's a great choice. Awesome design. And I am not walking on hardwood, even though it looks like it. Uh, these are actually porcelainosa tiles from Spain. And it looks exactly like natural wood, which is really cool because uh, if you have a spill of some kind, you're gonna drop some water on it. It's not gonna damage the floor. So once again, we got the Enutech windows, which are super expensive. So much light coming to this area. And the first thing that you notice when you walk into this dining room is this amazing light fixture. A brilliant choice of the light fixture all of the lights in this house are Cusco, very expensive lights. And then we have, of course, the drop ceiling all around, LED lights and the pot lights up above. And then we have speakers throughout the entire home. I love when the stager um, integrates the green element into the staging. I think that's awesome. So follow me down this way. On my right side, we got the wine display and on my left side, we have the service pantry. So the wine display ha holds about 100 bottles, probably more between 100 and 200 bottles. And on the back wall, we got the man-made stone. I like the texture on that. 
and it complements the Caesar stone which we have on this side very well. This whole setup looks like it would be in a restaurant or a high-end hotel. Um, we got the Caesar stone here and I think they've done an excellent job here. You got, once again, no cabinets and slow stopping of course. And let's go check out the rest of the home. So on my left over here, we have the kitchen, which we're gonna check out in a few minutes. But on this side is where you have the living room. This is where you hang out with your family, right? Look how big this room is right here. So we got the linear fireplace right here. A lot of builders use electric fireplaces, but I think there's nothing better than a gas fireplace and they've chosen an excellent fireplace right here. We got the vent for the fireplace right above the TV, which is kind of cool. And then a massive TV goes right here. I like how they have, I think this is wall mounted. The sound bar is also wall mounted. That's really cool. So we got, I think these are Spanish tiles, floor to ceiling. The ceiling here is 22 feet. And then on both sides of the fireplace, we actually have these floating shelves. I like how they kept it very simple and clean. And over here, we got some more window, windows on this level. And then we got some more windows up there as well. So there's so much light coming in from all areas. We got windows on this side. We got windows on that side as well. And obviously, you cannot forget to mention that black light fixture right there. Above the light fixture, we have those beams. I believe they're finished in the same uh, wood veneer that we saw earlier. Overall, just an excellent job in this area. You just want to hang out with your family, watch some TV. So, okay, let's move forward. And now let's check out this area right here. We got excellent staging, which complements the lights. The lights, once again, are Cusco, very expensive lights. Uh, we're going to check out this area in a few minutes. That's amazing, right? We got the indoor, outdoor living. This is a gigantic door, which pops open and you just go out there you could chill with in your on your fire table whatever you would like over here we got this huge uh island this is caesar stone and this back here is granite usually what we see is the builder they take the same stone and they put it as the backsplash but this builder spent that little bit of extra money they chose a completely different stone this is a very nice stone right here so directly behind me we have the Chinooki belgium uh, imported uh, wood veneer, which is a natural wood. And obviously behind here, we have the Miele fridge right here. And the person that lives here is very organized and neat and clean. They barely have any food in here. <laughs> and then over here, we got the water and ice dispenser, more Miele appliances. We got the stove and the microwave oven right here as well. So I wanna bring your attention to something over here. We got the coffee maker right here. And then right above that, we have the security system with eight cameras all around the property. So you know exactly what's going on. Okay, so I didn't mention this actually. This is a very modern and sleek light fixture right here. We haven't seen anything like this before. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I like that a lot. So behind you, Zach, is a pantry, but let's go check this out first. This is the second kitchen. And it's separated by this door right here. I like that they chose to put glass in here. Awesome choice. Okay, so down that way we have the pantry and over here we have the spice kitchen. This is where all of the real cooking gets done. You don't want any of the smell to escape this room, so you shut that door, you turn on the hood fan, and you make sure that all, this, uh, all the smell gets sucked up right through here. We got two-tone cabinetry, we got the wood veneer on the bottom, and then up here we have the white uppers. And then, of course, you gotta have the, uh, the Caesar stone right here. And this whole kitchen is complete, you got the dishwasher, you got the stove, which is a gas stove, and then you got the Fisher Paykel um, fridge right here. So Fisher Paykel is also a high-end brand. So on the outside, we had Miele, and in here, we have Fisher Paykel. So right down this way, we have a humongous pantry. This is where you store all your food, right? Awesome job. Okay, so now let's go explore the rest of the home. <clears throat> okay, so we have the second service uh, service pantry or butler's pantry, whatever you would want to call it. Down here, we have the microwave oven. And over here, we have a bar fridge and a sink as well. So let's go check out this room over here. They actually have a bedroom on the main floor. So I guess this would be kind of like your uh, guest bedroom for any guests that you would have in your home. 
and this is not bad you got so much light coming into this area Intertech windows and beautiful choice of the light fixture right there i like the gray tones the gray around the light matches the headboard which is right here and that's also gray as well i just want to point out that we have black handles everywhere you go in the house that's awesome and now let's go check out the um the washroom but before we do that i just want to bring your attention to something this is tile and this is actually engineered hardwood and they look so similar look at the transition right here you can barely tell such a seamless transition between the tile and the hardwood okay so now we're walking on the tile we got the same wood that we saw in the kitchen i like this whole setup right here you got the mirror you got some spot to play some stuff right there you got the race sink this is a Kohler sink and a Ryobel faucet Gerber, to Gerber toilet and then over here we have the shower and then a window seat as well beautiful choice of tiles in here as well so on the back wall over here we got more tile which looks like wood but it's actually tile and then you got the hand shower right here and then hexagon tiles on the bottom okay so now let's go check out the laundry room So over here we have the laundry room slash mud room and this is pretty cool actually so over here you got you're gonna be storing a whole bunch of stuff i don't even want to open this up but i like that it's not open shelves so you can conceal whatever you would want to put in here and then it looks very neat and clean and then over here you got the coat hooks and then a little seat right here so behind you zach is the laundry room and we got two electrolux stacked machines and over here we have the sink so a window to let some light into this area and then over here they've done a really cool thing which is a herringbone pattern i don't know if you're going to be able to get that or not the herringbone pattern these are these are individually laid there this is not like a sheet where you get like a 12 by 12 or something like that i think that's awesome and then down this way we actually have access to the garage some people on the channel they say make sure you show the garage so we're going to show the garage as well Oh, that's, that's pretty sweet. Nice and clean in here as well. You got the built-in vacuum, which is right there. And then I'm walking on the epoxy paint. Um, overall, just an amazing job in this room as well. Okay, so let's go back into the house and go check out the stairs. Okay, so over here we have the metal stringer, which is finished, I believe, in a wood veneer or engineer hardwood i'm not sure exactly how they made this but you got massive stairs right here leading you upstairs you got the glass railing on both sides and then the steel handrail right here so now let's go check out the master bedroom i am walking on the floating stairs we got the glass ring on my left with the steel handle this is such a smart way of finishing this area off usually have you have a little bit of dead space right here and they very creatively put this frosted glass and inside of that they have this green fake plants which I think looks amazing and it also complements this area right over here as well so they have a flat roof and to make it appealing to the eyes what they've done is they've laid uh, artificial turf instead of just having it black so I think that's really smart and it looks really cool so follow me down this way we have one of the four bedrooms on this floor great size room we got a nice view out to your back window pops open just like that and then once again you have the artificial turf right there i think that's great and awesome choice of the light fixture which has a little bit of gray in it which matches the headboard of the uh, bed right here and then down this way we have a nice washroom this conveniently opens up which lets you into here you got the rain shower head and the hand shower beautiful choice of the tiles back there and what i like about this room is the cabinetry which is pretty cool nice white cabinetry caesar stone and this is raised up right here throughout the entire house we actually have um, okay there you go now it's on we got the led light behind the mirror and then also an led light right behind the or below the vanity so you'll notice that the entire house actually has three inch pot lights everywhere. 
So down here we have the AC and behind these doors we have a nice big linen closet. So follow me down this way and we'll check out these two bedrooms over here. So I talked to the builder briefly uh, before we toured the property. A lot of their inspiration came from uh, home, homes in North Vancouver. Um, I want to bring your attention to the casing over here. I really like this design. I think, Zach, if you get a close-up, that's pretty cool. I like the groove right there. And awesome choice of the baseboard as well, which is kind of similar to the casing as well. So you got that groove right in there as well. I think that's awesome. So follow me down this way. And let's check out the washroom first. So these are huge tiles. This looks like it's like four by four, four feet by four feet. Could be a little bit bigger. And so the build, or sorry, the realtor really wanted me to point this key detail out. So as you can see, this is level to the floor, which is sweet. And then it's sloped down this way. So it lets all the water go right into that very sleek drain, which is right there. I think that's awesome. And then over here, you have a beautiful choice of the tiles and then your shower niche. This is where you put all your soap bars and shampoo bottles. Once again, you got the Gerber, Gerber toilet right over there. And over here, this is a pretty cool design as well. You got all of your drawers right here. No handles, of course, and slow stopping, just, just like that, closes just like that. You got the Kohler sink, a Rival faucet. And what I think the coolest thing about this room is that if you already didn't have enough space to store whatever you wanted right there, you got a little bit of extra space right behind your mirrors. How sweet is that? What I would do is I would put my toothpaste, my toothbrush and all that kind of stuff right behind these, right? You got some more room on all sides, which allows you to keep this area very neat and clean. Okay, so now behind Zach is the bedroom, which we're gonna check out. So this is a nice room. Oh, <laughs> this is a nice room. We got the three inch pot lights and it overlooks your backyard over here. You got the flat roof once again with the artificial turf right there for sure. And I believe that that house over there is gonna be developed soon as well. So there's gonna be a few more houses back here, which is pretty cool. So follow me down this way and we're gonna to go to the right. So let's go check out this bedroom as well. This is another good size bedroom. Once again, you have the view out to the back. Great choice of the light fixture in here as well. And let's go check out the washroom similar design to what we saw in the other one i'm gonna let you go in here zach you got the shower the toilet and the vanity as well excellent job in here as well so a key a, a few key details that i want to bring to your attention is that you got the lights and the baseboard right down there that's so sick and then you have the central vacuum which is hidden behind this right here. You just attach your hose to that and then you're good to go. The entire house is uh, controlled by Control 4. You have eight security cameras, which I mentioned before, all around the house. And then over here, we have these two gigantic doors, which are very heavy, solid wood, which allow you into this amazing room, which is your master bedroom. So there's so many different things that I wanna talk about in this room. So first of all, Check out this window. You have an amazing view of your subdivision. That home we actually toured about two months ago and has more than 300,000 views. Make sure you go and check out that video if you haven't already, but make sure you watch this one first. So I'm walking on the engineered hardwood and over here, I really like this design. You got the engineered hardwood on the ground and they wrapped it up the wall up to right about here. And Zach, I'm gonna let you get a close up of this. They made this wall, another wall in front of that wall, and then they have the LED right below it. I think that makes an awesome uh, way to create mood lighting. And then I wanna point out, this light right here is made out of cement, super heavy, and costs more than $2,000. <coughs> That's insane. So over here at the front of the room, you got a beautiful choice of the fireplace. You have a pre-installed TV right here, and then you got um, the fireplace right here as well. Uh, there's literally fireplaces in all parts of this house. 
So follow me down this way. We have the engineered hardwood over here, and then we got tiles over here. And I like that there's a difference of the color right here. So I would call this a spa. This feels like a spa as soon as you walk into here. You have the freestanding soaker tub right here. And then of course, when you're taking a bath, you wanna be sitting right beside your fireplace, which is right there. It's a see-through fireplace. You can enjoy it from both sides. Once again, you have the same wood veneer that we saw, the natural wood veneer imported from Belgium, Caesar stone. You got his and her vanities with the Rybel faucets on both sides right here. And then the mirror is also uh, finished in the same material, which is really cool. So right here we have the toilet room and it's very smart that they have a frosted glass right here. So follow me down this way. One of the most important things that I think uh, every builder should keep in mind is incorporating a window into the closet because when you're getting ready, you're looking at your clothes, you wanna view that stuff in a natural light. And what they've done is very smart. They made this window, which looks good from the outside as well. So it serves the function of allowing so much light into this area. You got a beautiful, a pretty big uh, closet in here. You got the open shelves, you got some hangers right here, and then you got the drawers, which are right here as well. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in here, but this is a very big shower, and it has a huge shower head right there. Zach, I'm gonna let you get a close up. And then you gotta have the body jets, which are right at the front over there. That's awesome. And once again, what a typically a builder would have done is just put a center drain. They didn't do that. They made this area and this area level. They sloped it down that way to make sure that the water goes into that very sleek drain right there. You almost can't even see it. Yeah, you can't even see it. It's awesome. That wraps up the tour for this floor. Now let's go check out the basement. Follow me. Okay, so I'm going down to the home entertainment area. We got some lights here to illuminate the stairs. We got a nice uh, window right there to allow a little bit of light to come into this area. And then we also have wallpaper on that back wall as well. All right, now there's so many different things, so many different areas on this floor, but let's go check out the bar first. So over here, we got black granite titanium countertops. On this side, we have the same stone. Uh, this is a man-made stone that we saw in the wine, uh, wine room, or the, sorry, the wine display upstairs. We got a sink right here, and then no bar, in my opinion, is complete without the dishwasher and the bar fridge as well, which we have right here. You got the dishwasher right here and then the bar fridge right here. So the reason I think that's important is because you're gonna be drinking, hanging out with your buddies, taking those shots. The last thing that you wanna do is take up all those dishes to the main floor and wash them and bring them down. What you do over here, wash them right in here and then you just place them right in here. These shelves just open up just like that. And then on this side, we have the same wood veneer, natural wood veneer that we saw upstairs and they've created this shelf to pretty much display all your bottles. How much do you think this place cost to build? Uh, I think that this probably cost, and I'm not 100% sure, probably between 250 to 300 bucks a square foot. So they spent a lot of money. The average home costs about now 140 bucks a square foot, depending on where you're building. So they spent a lot more money on this house. So after you're done slamming those shots, drinking, um, when you wake up in the morning, you come to the gym and you sweat out all those toxins. So over here we have the gym. You got the pre-installed uh, pre floor mats already. And you got a nice big window here. Allows a little bit of light to come into this area. And then if you need some extra motivation, you got your TV, which is hung up right over here, wall mounted. Everything is already done for you. That's why you got to pay the premium for this house. You got the mirrors already installed over here as well. Literally, all you got to do is pay the price and move in. So we got the spa. Once you're done with the gym, you come into the spa area. And in here, you got a toilet behind this frosted glass door. And then over here, you got the shower with the shower seat as well. And uh, pretty much everything you need is right here. So you got the double vanities and got to have the slow stopping, of course. And then you got 
the mirror which has the LED right behind it, which is really cool. So excellent job in this room as well. So down this way, we have an extra bedroom or you could use it for whatever you wanted. Um, right now they have it staged as a bedroom. So a good sized room. This is where you put, you know, your guests or if you got some kids coming over or something like that, spending the night, this is the perfect room for them. So behind you, Zach, we're gonna go down this way to the billiards room, which is right here. So let's get a close up of this light right here. Look how, that's a very distinct light. I've never seen anything like that before. So that is hung above this billiards table. So you know there's a lot of room here, right? You got this massive billiards table right here. You got another TV right over here. That's perfect, adjacent to this table. You could be playing with your friends and then you got sports right over here. You could put some basketball or something like that. And they got an awesome design over here, a little place to put all your pool cues. And uh, yeah, I think that's sweet. A little area to keep score as well. That's awesome, check that out. That's sweet. All right, now let's go check out uh, this area. But before we do, so you'll notice that they've di uh, displayed some uh, posters or pictures, and on both sides of that, they got some wall sconces, black wall sconces. I think that's awesome. Let's go check out this area over here. I don't know what's behind this area. Okay, so that is the furnace room over there. And then on this side, we have another washroom. So many washrooms in this house, I've lost count, honestly. Uh, Caesar stone, beautiful vanity. You got the shower, and then you got the floating uh, toilet here as well. I think that's awesome. The flusher is mounted right onto the wall. This is a total toilet, so you know it's pretty expensive. Um, yeah, every bar has to have um, a, a washroom, for sure. So down this way, we have uh, a nice little office area. They've staged it as right now. You got these doors. I'm not gonna try to open these up right now, but that allows you into your backyard right over there. And then over here, we got yet another TV, a nice L couch right here. <coughs> and then over here, you got the TV, you got the fireplace. This is an electric fireplace over here. I believe that this is tile once again. And in every single one of the areas where they have a TV, they've uh, also wall mounted a Polk audio uh, sound bar as well. I don't know if that's included in the house or not, but I think that's such a nice finishing touch. So all the wires are neatly concealed behind this TV right here. So now let's go check out the home theater area or the home theater room. So follow me. So behind this door, we have the home theater area. Check this out. This is amazing. Light so, sweet. yeah, I know, I like the lighting setup. So yeah, exactly like saying the lights, we got the LEDs lights right here. You got three inch pole lights up above. I think it looks sick. And then you got the, the riser, the seat riser it's called, uh, which allows you to sit over here and you can comfortably see right over the person that's right in front of you. And then at the front of the room, you have a 130 inch screen right there which is crazy and then down here you got some shelves to hold your receivers it just pop open just like that once again this is a natural wood veneer and then on both sides of the screen you have the built-in speakers so there's some light sconces right beside you zach over here i'm going to try to figure out how to turn these on give me a second awesome the builder did an amazing job. It feels like you're in a home theater right here. It's pretty sweet. All right, now let's go to the backyard and check out that area, follow me. Okay, now let's go check out the backyard. But before we do, I wanna show you guys something right here. This is the control four system and you can control the intercom, the security, the lighting, pretty much everything can be done from right over here. So if you've been a viewer of this channel, you know that I always have an issue with all the doors. I don't know why, I just do. They're so confusing and hard to open, but not this door. This one, you just pull this lever down just like that, and it seamlessly opens to allow you into your backyard. How easy was that? Welcome to this beautiful backyard. You got so many different things going on back here. 
you got a fire table, you got a seating area over there, you got the hot tub, and then let's start off with this barbecue area over here. So you got the built-in barbecue, which is right here, and then you got a little bit of uh, area on both sides. You could cut up your veggies, whatever you like over here. You got a little bit of storage down here and here as well. And then of course, you gotta have the bar fridge, which is right over here. So there's so much light in this area. I would say that these are probably built for stargazing at nighttime. You got the built-in speakers right here. You got a light fixture right over here. And then these are cedar soffits, of course. And then over here, you have a natural stone. And I think I could get this right. This is Fond du Lac Country Squire, and it's been brought in from Wisconsin. That's crazy. All right, so follow me down. So down this way, this takes you to the front of the house and then you have these pavers, these large pavers, which wrap all the way around to the backyard as well. So down this way, you got the hot tub right over here. And then over here, you got a nice water feature. This is pretty sweet. And over here, you have another area. You got a nice little seating area over here. You could put up a basketball hoop if you wanted over here. You could put up a ping pong table if you wanted. And then on this side, left up to your imagination, you could just leave it as grass. Um, if you got kids, put up a trampoline or something like that, whatever you would want. And amazing choice of the cedar fence, which is right over here as well. Let's go check it out. So you got the privacy obviously, but it's very different and modern. It allows you to see just a little bit right through there. There was a key detail that I saw, which I want to bring to your attention. Um, just, it, it just shows how meticulous this builder was. So come check this out. This is your entrance and exit into your bar area. And I just want to show you this. This is usually made with forms. So you put up the forms and you pour the concrete. And when you take the forms off, what happens is usually it looks really bad. It doesn't look very appealing to the eye. So I know for sure that they brought someone in and they smoothed it out. They put more concrete on this. That's amazing. I think that's awesome. And they didn't cheap up on the stairs. This is not wood. This is a metal. And then you got the glass here, of course, as well. So that sums up the tour for the entire house. Now let's go meet at the front of the property. We're gonna conclude. That was hands down one of the nicest homes that we've seen on this channel. The builder of this home did an amazing job. Another one by Sunny Sangha. Thanks for letting us tour your amazing listing. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. We got some amazing episodes coming up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Thank you.